everybody, I'm In The Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to In The Little Box, the P.O. Box show on my channel, where I open all of your mail. Apologies for such a big delay between the two. We were getting on quite well with it. We were doing them weekly, and then we had Gamescom, and also Insomnia, which was in one week, and then as soon as I got back from that, before I could even get to the weekend, I got to Friday, and obviously the episodes go out on Saturday when I record them, and I had to go look after Kai, which took about three weeks up, and then obviously we've had another week, and now we're here. So it's been a month. I've had legitimate reasons, you've all been super supportive through that, so thank you for that. And let us get into the first thing of the day. Now, I've already opened this, and I already had it up on my uh, nerd shelf of sorts, and it's because I couldn't not have this on my shelf straight away. Look at this guy, he is awesome. It's a little strippy from the Nino Cooney series, he's got his big, like, brown hair, he's got the horns as well, this is all knitted, it's even got a cape on the back, which has got a sapling logo on it as well. It's literally the most awesome thing that I... I, uh, I've received in recent weeks. It's so so good. I absolutely love it. So he sat on the nerd shelf with my copy uh, that was signed by uh, Drippy. Obviously not Strippy, but Drippy. And uh, and yeah, I've got all sorts in there. I've got the fan art. I've got the familiar Yogs thing still up there as well. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to find out exactly who it came from. So there's a little card inside of here that I'll be sending back to you. I think it's from somebody called Emily. Um, it did say I had to read this first, but I'm sorry. I've already opened it up. But here we go. Uh, it says, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. I hope you're doing well. My name's Emily and I'm from South Carolina in the US. I absolutely love your Nino Cooney series and wanted to make you a little something. Your very own Strippy the Might. Yes, pre-transformation, of course. This isn't the latest stages. This is the very first form of Strippy. It's the earliest one. Uh, <laughs> voice equals announcer. Strippy has joined the party. Slash voice. She's done like little sort of like HTML type codes. Um, it says sans the sword and the shield. Oh, hold on a second. Is, is there a sword and shield inside of here? I haven't seen this yet. Uh, oh, so there is. So there is. He's got a little sword just there and I think that's actually like a hook so I can actually put it onto his hand. So we've got a sword and I believe, yeah look at that, he's got a little shield as well. I may actually kit those out with him and put him back on the shelf like that. I didn't realise these were in here. It took me a little over three weeks to complete him. Good God, good job on sticking out for so long. Uh, working on and off of course, I'm a senior in college and now have a lot of free time. Anywho, he should be very durable so don't worry about breaking him. Oh it's okay, I, I'm not going to play with him, I'm just going to sit him on the shelf and that's, and that's where it was survive. He's also not included in this sword and shield, machine washable. Oh, amazing. So <laughs> if someone ever spills something on him, then I can always wash him. That'd be awesome. Uh, but I wouldn't stick him in the dryer just because, uh, oh, it could cause him to fail. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I also enjoy your other series, such as the Little Versus Cube series. Uh, my favourite episode is where you had to lead a uh, blind Dan everywhere. Oh, in Little Versus, oh, sorry, in, little, uh, in the Little Cube. Yes, I do remember that. Um, I also enjoy watching your live streams. Do you think you'll do a Feed the Beast series now that tech is over for y'all? Um, I don't know. I've seen Hat Films have done loads of episodes of Feed the Beast, but then there's also Hex here. I was talking about this on my live stream yesterday that um, Kingdom of the Sapling started again and I was really excited for it and I wanted to take it into the Aether 2 but the Aether 2 was just the Aether 1 but with multiplayer so I was kind of like I've already sort of played this before so I am looking for alternatives so I can carry on the Kingdom of the Sapling series and actually get it back up and running because I felt quite bad bringing it back for like three episodes and then suddenly like gone again like it was kind of it wasn't intentional obviously but I still felt quite bad about it uh, anyway, it says, I'd love to see uh, what you and Toby do again, and imagine you'd like the Foresty mod, or the Forestry even. I saw you play FTB with Strippin' and Kai during the live stream, and it seems you liked it. We didn't do that much FTB stuff, we did a little bit, like, we did mostly vanilla Minecraft, just because it was the very early stages, we like, just made a new world, and then just jumped straight into it. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask for a shout out to my DeviantArt account. Yes, you can. It's Mathursaurus, right, so that's spelled M-A-T-H U triple H S A U R U S. I'll put a link in the description uh, to a deviant art, so that's all good. And it's the same again on YouTube, minus the dashes between each of those. Um, and my Minecraft name is Emily Nickel. There you go, good stuff. And other than that, it just says, uh, Love from your fans, Emily. Ah, oh, thank you very much. And you've left an address here as well, so I'll definitely make sure I get something back to you. And that deserves a badge as well. That's, that's a card and a badge sort of letter. Thank you very much, Emily. And on to the first letter of the week. Let's find out exactly what is inside of here. That part says, Don't read out, so I, I won't read that out. <laughs> there is a paper craft piece of, I think that's lapis, it could be diamond, I'm pretty sure that's lapis though, 
There you go, you can just about make it out if it focuses because my face isn't in the frame. There you go, look at that. Right, let's find out who this is from. Ooh, there are Pokemon cards inside of here. We've got a Metang, which is kind of cool. We've got a Leiron. We've got a Dusclops, which is one of the weirder ones, actually. We've got a Dusclops. And there is also my favourite, a Vulpix. I have so many different variations now of the Vulpix card. It's absolutely insane. Thank you for sending those. Oh, and speaking of, um, I don't remember who sent it, but somebody sent this this week. Week, uh, the card that we spoke about, you know, the shiny Mew one from the uh, from the very first film that looks all kind of hieroglyphic and stuff. And there's also I keep dropping cards, and there's also a different decorative back as well on it. So if you've never seen that card before, that's the one I was referring to in some of the past episodes. So there you go. Thank you to whoever sent that, by the way. I'm pretty sure we've already sent a card back out to you, so that is all good. I'm going to open the printout first. Oh, is Lewis crying? I don't think I've seen that one before. Unless you've redrawn it. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a, a shot from Screw the Nether. Oh, sorry, no, it's Minecraft Christmas, I think, that one, isn't it? Yeah, that's Minecraft Christmas. There you go. So that's that one. Speaking of Minecraft songs, uh, our new one isn't far off releasing now. It's going to be coming out this Friday. So get ready for it. I'm very, very excited for it. I played, actually, a little snippet on my live stream. So if you want to go back and watch my live stream from yesterday, go and do that, and you'll find it in there somewhere. I'm not going to say the time. People will probably say it in the comments, but I'm not going to say the time, but it's in there somewhere, so go have a look. Anyway, this says, Hi in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. My name is Ethan, uh, and I've been a sapling for a year now, and I love your videos, especially your recent Cube World series and Nino Cooney. I'm clinically depressed, and it can make me very low, uh, so every time I feel low, I check out your videos, and it makes me much more much happier. Oh, I, I get a lot of people saying that actually. I didn't realise quite how many people have depression and stuff like that. And then after seeing so many letters come through with people um, with similar uh, scenarios, I sort of googled it and it, like the numbers like out of 10 um, was just a lot higher than I thought it was. So I'm glad that I can help people in that way. It's really, really awesome. Uh, it says also, if this letter gets on the show, could you please give a shout out to my friends Harry, Tom and Joseph. Harry, hi, Tom, hi, Joseph, hi. Uh, I, I was also very pleased when you joined the Yogscast. I also hope you like the lapis lazuli I cut out for you. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, yours sincerely, Ethan. P.S. Could you get everyone in the office to sign the Minecraft Christmas picture? Uh, I can try to, yeah. Not everybody's in the office at the moment, so I'll get as many people as I can, hopefully, and we'll be sure to send that back out to you. So thank you very much, Ethan. Get the shackles off my feet so I can dance. And I'm gonna praise you. All right, we've got a big old box that we're going to open up next. I don't actually have, again, my letter open. I always forget this. But as always, keys will do. Let's do a slice from the middle. Open this bad boy up. There we go. I'm hoping I don't break whatever's inside this giant bits of bubble wrap uh, in here. Or bubble pocket, should I say. I don't actually know what the official name for them is. But look, those kinds of things. So there must be something sensitive in here. What the hell is that thing? It's weird, isn't it? It's like... I don't, I don't even know what that is. I feel I feel dirty touching it. You know what I mean? They <laughs> just I like, look at it and I'm like, um, should I be holding that? Let's have a look. Oh my god, there's all sorts in here. Oh, I see. So there's cards for everybody inside of this. Let me find my card. My card is actually I think mine will be the big letter. That's not in a card. Here we go. Right, let's have a look. Find out who this is from. There's a blank piece of paper. Yeah, that's blank. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. The finally the letter. Right. Here we are. Yeah, this is for me. Look. Big Martin logo across the top. Well, I say Martin logo, my name and a tree. So that's about right. Uh, it says, hi Martin, I've been a fan for nearly two years now and I finally had enough courage to send the package to you. As you can see, I've sent you a ball. Uh, just squeeze it. Okay. Uh, also, <laughs> you can see I've sent a plain piece of paper. Uh, could you please take it around the office for people to sign? Uh, I will make sure that I get one of the cards signed. It's better than a piece of paper. And we can do that for you. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Uh, enough of that, though. I love your Cube World series, your In the Little Cube series, and your Minecraft mini games as well. My name is Joshua Jones, and I'm 12 years old. I live in a town called, what does that say, Port... Uh, Port Talbot, there you go, in Wales. Uh, the town is in between Swansea and Cardiff. Those two I've heard of. Now I've heard of the other one. Uh, I will be... Oh, I will be flabbergasted uh, if this is on in the little box. Thank you very much. Hail the saplings! And that comes from uh, Joshua Jones. So there we go. Thank you very much, Joshua, for your weird squishy ball. I'm not really sure what this bag it's in. Uh, it's a ball bag. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what it is. Do you want to have a look? It's kind of got little spikes on it. It reminds me of the little things from uh, Monsters University. You know when they're running along and every time they touch them their body just like blows out. It's kind of like those. It's a bit weird. I think it's maybe time for another letter. And yes, the lighting in here does keep changing. I'm relying on the sunlight coming through this side of the room today. And we started off with the sun and now it's descended away. So hopefully I can like change this in editing so it actually all looks somewhat the same. But whatever, it's fine. These things happen. And Anyway, uh, oh, this is kind of cool. Is there fan out on one side? Oh, there is. Look at this. We've got In the Littlewood logo on one side, and it reads, Dear In the Littlewood, also known as Martin, uh, I'm, is that say L? It's, I think that's E double L. Oh no, it's Ellie. Okay, that's what that's it. So yeah, it's spelled E double L E, but it's pronounced Ellie. Uh, and I live in Halifax in West Yorkshire. You've inspired me so much uh, since the day of your first ever video, and I've been watching you ever since. Sorry about my spelling. I can't really write that well, so I'll try my best. Oh my God! If you see half of the cards on Tumblr that people have received from me, you'll see how bad my handwriting is. It's out there on the internet now, and like it's not even just me going, oh my handwriting's quite bad. No, there's like photo evidence of it <laughs> like people have them in their houses now and it's uh it's not very good handwriting but it's fine uh it says you're a legend martin and have inspired so many people and you should be very proud of what you've achieved so far and what you may achieve in the future me and my friends love you and the Yogscast so much that we are making a channel just like yours uh you are my favorite member don't tell sparkles <gasps> no you forgot to put the asterisk as well that's that's a second shot to the to the gut for sparkles so <laughs> but anyway it says keep on mining and it's got a little nerd cube logo at the bottom as well so there we go oh that's really really nice actually i love the fan art as well it's really well drawn i don't have a mouth though i'm not sure how i'll eat or how i'll smile if i get diamonds i'm just kind of like The mailman must think I'm just like some kind of like shoeaholic with the amount of vans boxes that I get for uh, for in the little box. But you can see the sapling logos on there. My face is on the front of it as well. Let's open this up and find out what's inside. Hello. Oh, this is like a full box of goodies. There is a drum kit set, which is pretty cool, like a very small sort of Lego type thing. I quite like that. I've actually got some very small figurines on my shelf that I probably want to sit on top of that. I've got like a Mario that I'm going to have playing the drum kit. That's pretty cool. So we've got that. There is a, a minion. Kai will love that. I don't know if it's for her or not, but I know Kai really, really loves the minions. So there you go. Is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? Yeah, there you go. And come back to me. I'm going to be blurry for a second, but that's fine. We have got a little square block head of me, which is pretty cool. It's like little googly eyed guy. We've got a, I think that's a Pikachu. But he also opens up as well. So you got Pikachu there. And then he sort of opens up across the bottom. I think, oh, I see. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that was, that's clever. I'll give him that. So you've got a Pikachu. And then when you capture it, the ball sort of like twists inside out. And it becomes a Pokeball. That's ve Whoever designed that, you're a genius. Absolute genius. Oh, this is definitely going to be on Pokemon shelf. We've got a little Vulpix. So I've actually now got a Pokemon slash Zelda shelf. But if I get enough Pokemon stuff... Uh, and enough Zelda stuff, I can make a full shelf of it. At the minute, they're sort of sharing, and also Mario as well. Uh, but that Vulpix is definitely going on my little Pokemon nerdy shelf. What else have we got? Oh, so I heard you like Mudkips. Ah, oh, and there's a little, I can't remember what it's called. It's not Maril, is it? It's the baby version. And I'm pretty sure Maril's evolution is called Azuril. Unless the baby one, is it, it's not just baby... Baby Maril, is it? It must have its own name. But that one transforms or gets devoured even into a little Pokeball. We have a blank t-shirt. I'm assuming you're going to want that signed and sent back to you. So let's have a quick look. Oh, there's also a little autograph book as well. Very bold orange. Look at that. <laughs> and all the pages are green. Best book ever. Best book ever. It's fluorescent and it's got green paging. We've got some fan art inside of here as well. Some Screw the Nether fan art. There you go, of the portal. So that's pretty cool. That portal, actually, uh, you may see a sneak peek of it in the next song. It's kind of like a sequel to it. I told people about this the other day, that the next song is like a continuation of the Screw the Nether story. Just just putting it out there. Maybe you can make the links, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, this says, To Martin, my name is Sam and I love your videos. They bring a smile to my face, even if I'm feeling down. I've been a sapling for a year now and I was so pleased when you joined the Yogscast. I've recently been watching your Cube World episodes. Everybody's watching Cube World. These 
letters must be old, but you'll see that we have some from like last week and some from, you know, a couple months ago. Um, I've given you some soft Pokemon uh, toys that have zips. If you undo the zip, you turn them inside out. Yeah. And the blank t-shirt is for you all to sign and maybe you can send some badges or something cool back to me. Have fun building the drum kit. I actually will have a lot of fun doing that because... I, I've wanted to get some big Lego sets or big Kinect sets because in the office we stare at the screens 24-7. We go home to our flats or our houses or whatever in the office um, and then we just sit there and look at more screens. So it's nice if I had something that I could do where I just don't look at a computer screen for once. If I just play some music on my phone, do some like, you know, Kinects and stuff. I've seen Simon do it loads of times. He's got lots of different Lego things like that big R2-D2 that he built. Such a good idea, but uh, but yeah, I'll have loads of fun with the drum kit. Anyway, uh, this is from, who was it? It was from Sam, so thank you very much, Sam. I'll be sure to keep your uh, address on file and we'll make sure we get something back out to you. So I think that's everything for this week. I'm going to leave it there for today. I don't want my office to get too messy. I'm still trying to organise stuff since getting back, but the pile of mail is actually very, very small now. So we've sent cards back out to everybody. We've sent badges to a few people. I've actually run out of badges, but it's kind of good as well because we're now onto the second generation of... Of them because my Yogscast avatar was updated by Fer uh, Ferizin so next time we do badges they'll actually be different ones so they'll be the cool people who are like oh yes I have the very first badge and then the people who are like well I have the second badge and then like next year we'll have a third one and people are like oh well I don't have the first set of second I have the third badge but anyway yeah that's kind of what's coming in the near future if you missed it yesterday I'd really love it if you could go check out the brand new Zelda Skyward uh, not Skyward Sword no that's the old one Zelda Wind Waker episode that went out a brand new Series. I want to see some love on that. If you want to see it as a full Let's Play or if you just want to see a couple of episodes, you have to let me know. And other than that, if you ever want to send anything to this show, all the information is in the description below. It's basically just the Yogscast PO box. And make sure that you put sapling swirls on the box or you put my name on it. Just something very like definitive so I know it's for me. So the people upstairs that organise the mail and pass it out to us all know exactly who it's going to. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hopefully, this episode will be going out again uh, next week, another PO box. So I will see you all then. Bye.